Hey, what's up everybody? Before we get into it today, I would like for everybody that's viewing this video and, and get some type of substance out of this video, something that can help you out of this video, which will probably be packed with helpful information. I would ask that you click the like button, the subscribe button, uh, feel free to comment and uh, reply. I ask that you subscribe to YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Even LinkedIn, when I start loading up LinkedIn. I got a new channel. Uh, I'm trying new things out. Uh, and I believe that you could gain from, from it. With that being said, today I will be talking about dealing with the feds. I feel like I could probably make a couple of parts out of that video because I don't want to make too long of a video. So let's get into it. Okay. You're dealing with the feds. Let me explain the process to you. You caught a charge on the state level. The charges that you caught on the state level was, were processed on the state level. But what happened was whoever in charge of your processing decided that you fit the criteria to be indicted on a federal level. So if you get caught with guns, which is a federal offense, federally, uh, meaning that if you're a felon in North Carolina, you're considered a firearm by felon, which is able to be prosecuted on a federal level. So basically what I'm saying is if you catch a gun charge and it's a federal gun charge in North Carolina, your case will be handled by the ATF. If you catch a drug offense on a federal level, your case could be handed off to the DEA or the FBI. All right, now that we got that out of the way, on most occasions when brothers like us and sisters like us catch a federal charge at first they are on the state level meaning that they caught a state charge they was walked downtown processed downtown and while you are being processed you will be asked to go to your first appearance your bond hearing, if you need a bond. If you haven't made bond, there will be a bond hearing after your first appearance. You will go and they will pretty much let you know. The first appearance ain't nothing but notices of that paperwork and charges have been made against you. They'll let you know that what your charges are. They'll let you know if it's a, a, a grand jury indictment. Um... Once that happens, after your first appearance, they'll call you in for a bond hearing out of the county jail if you're still in there. If you get out, which I hope you do, because when you are handed over to the federal level, there will be another detainer applied to your inmate number, meaning that there will be another detainer on you federal detainer and that will need another bond if there's a bond hearing which there will be a bond hearing, hearing federally but not until you get your indictment first so I'm going to walk you through that part okay now once you've been charged on the state level and they hand you over to the ATF or the DEA or the FBI they will process your paperwork I'm gonna tell you exactly how long it takes. 
it usually takes during normal operations it usually takes them less than within 90 days they will have your federal indictment paperwork ready when you are indicted by the feds there will be a notice put in the news or there will be a, some type of notice there will be a true bill of indictment sent to you and you will be summoned to court if you in jail which most of the time most people do be in jail when they get indicted you will be transferred from state level detention to federal level detention if you not in jail, you will be sitting at home and next thing you know, U.S. Marshals will be surrounding you with MP5s. Um, let's see, what else? Once you are detained by U.S. Marshals, they will process you into federal detention, which will be three places which are located in three places, major places in North Carolina. The major hubs of federal detention in North Carolina is, one is in Greensboro for the Middle District. Um, there's one in Charlotte for the Eastern District. Or is, is that the Western District? I think that's the Western District. And there's a uh, one in Raleigh or somewhere Raleigh Durham for the the Eastern District if I'm not mistaken the federally North Carolina is split into three you got the Middle District the Western District and the Eastern District and they are part of the fourth circuit of North Carolina when it comes to the federal circuit the fourth circuit the federal circuit of North Carolina which is the fourth circuit it's one of the most difficult circuits to defend yourself against. Against. Um, what else I need to tell you about handling federal cases? Um, once you are processed in the detention center federally, you will be appointed a public defender lawyer. The public defenders in the feds are way better than the ones on state. So they will give you a halfway decent defender who they feel as though are the top tier of North Carolina or of your district. So shortly after you have been indictment and you went on your first appearance, you will, before you go on your first appearance, you will meet your public defender and they will go through the preliminaries. The preliminaries is your paperwork will be processed and you will be given an inmate number, which is a federal inmate number. You will go from a state inmate to a federal inmate. You will go from a US citizen number, social security number, to a federal inmate number in the detention center. They will, they will file financial affidavits against your social security number and when it comes back, you will have a temporary federal inmate number. Do we have all these things clear? It's been almost nine minutes, so I'm gonna cut this video short and come back again. This is Kamario Palmer LLC. If anything in this video brought anything to light, light to you, I would like for you to like, follow, subscribe. And I'm coming with more information. I'm coming with more facts. I got the insight, I got the education, I got the knowledge, and I'm fully qualified to relay this information to you. No, I'm not a lawyer. No, I'm not an accountant, but I do have expertise in those fields. And I do have the knowledge to share with you, to help you defend yourself. Everybody, y'all have a good one. Peace.